So we're going to get ourselves into our traditional Pilates rest position. Knees bent, feet flat, and arms fairly close beside us. Do have a pillow if you'd like one. And as everybody gets settled and you come down onto the floor, this might be the first time you've really stopped today. So take a moment to just let go into the mat or the floor and have some deep breaths. Let your head flop from one side to the other side. Take the weight off, literally take the weight off. Then we're going to get our spines moving in this position with our classic spine curl. A breath in, as you breathe out, abdominals in pelvic floor, curl the tailbone up and then let that be followed by the hips, your waist and your chest. Arms just soft and relaxed behind you. At the top, it might be the thighs that feel a bit tight and you need to lift the hips and push them towards your knees to stretch these front of the body muscles out. Have a breath at the top and then coming down, focus on getting the ribs down first, then your waist, then your hips, and last of all, your tailbone. Don't be surprised if it all feels a bit stuck together for the first few. Breath in. As you breathe out, abdominals in, pelvic floor, they're the drivers. Only a little bit of feet and not much bottom. Keep that quite soft. Make all the work come from the front. Use the core to pick you up. Stretch through the thighs. Lift up towards the ribs. Have a breath. And then coming down, start with an out breath and then let them flow. Ribs, waist, hips, tail. Now I know from class that lots of knees will be sideways and feet really wide. So pull your feet in if they are wide. You just want a little orange size gap down the middle. Feet close to your bottom, curl up. Keep those knees quite close. Don't let them go sideways and lift in the air. Couple of breaths at the top and then trying to be meticulous about coming down in the right order. Ribs, waist, hips, tail. One more like this, tummy in pelvic floor, curl your spine. Have a breath at the top and then coming down slowly, rolling through each segment in turn. Lovely. Now that stretches and moves the spine in a forward backwards direction. Now clamp the feet and knees together. Keep the hands just a little bit apart from your hips. We're not going to go wide. We're going to do lazy legs, but we're going to do them in a not lazy way. So keep the feet and knees tight and the arms low and deliberately move just the knees first. And then only when you can't take the knees any further, let the hip join in and then the waist. And this should feel a bit tighter than when we do it in a lazy way, like it's pulling across the hip and thigh area and waist, rather than up under the shoulders. Use the tummy muscles to draw you back to the middle. And then it, go the other way, but again, keeping it tight, trying to move the knees before the hips, before the waist. So you get a really good stretching feeling. Use the abdominals to pull you back to the middle and change again. Knees before hips, before waist, and now you can let your head Turn to look down your arm and enjoy that stretch. Back to the middle and turn the other way. I'm doing lots of stretching things tonight because I think from what I've been getting emails and hearing from people is that people are just getting a bit stiff. We're kind of busy, not busy all at once at the moment. So once more each way really working your spine free from your hips. Turn your head to look down your arm and then back to the middle. And then the simplest stretch of all, but it feels so good, is to take both arms up, thumbs first, keep the ribs pinned to the mat and then let the weight of your arms drop back behind you and just let your arms hang. Chin up a bit, 
head resting on your mat or pillow and hold there and breathe. Get air in your lungs and feel your ribs having to stretch out a bit. Then bring the hands forward and same again. A light anchor through the tummy and pelvic floor. Lift the arms up, pin the ribs to the mat and drop the arms behind you using gravity to stretch, particularly all the way under the tightness of the armpit and the upper arm. And back down and enjoy one more lovely stretch. Both arms, anchor through the abdominals, ribs down, stretch out and breathe. Big breaths. Lovely. <sighs> 